I think, you know, I'm constantly puzzled by this question, you know, how can art actually have uh, an impact in the political realm, or can it altogether? So I sort of, I constantly sort of uh, alternate between thinking, yeah, we can do something, and then sometimes feeling like uh, more needs to be done. What I find most interesting uh, in regard to the question of art and politics is that um, before all these uh, ideas or the development of Western art and Western art history, art has always been very integrated in everyday life, has been integrated in religion, spirituality, and of course, politics. It was never separate. Um, so I guess, yeah, I am very interested in which are the ways in which uh, we can incorporate it again to, um, to every other facet of life, like politics, but like other things. How can we make it useful? The, uh, the reason why I was interested in working with Tony and Joaquin is, is Tony has been an artist that I've been working with for uh, almost 12 years. And we've worked together in many different um, contexts throughout Australia and a number of international contexts. And, you know, for me, I'm, I'm just very excited to see his next projects, next bodies of work. So, you know, it's always a thrill for me to work with him in different contexts. Joaquin, I met uh, through a project that Tony did in 2010 called Omega at the Margaret Lawrence Gallery at the Victorian College of the Arts. And Joaquin was in Melbourne for that exhibition for, a, for about a month and we spent a bit of time together and I, at that stage I could already see and understand the kind of strong synergies between their practices. So the inspiration um, of the exhibition is the relationship between two artists, Tony Garofalakis from Australia and Joaquin Segura from Mexico. They met in 2008 in New York in a residency and they immediately connected because they had all these um, things in common and the research that they were looking at at the moment uh, was that uh, censorship as a form of political uh, control. These are some of the works. Um, that relate to censorship and so this is an example where he uh, modified pre-existing magazines and he blackened almost everything in them and only left the traces of um, a couple of eyes. Another strong relationship that they have and that they've explored over the years is an interest in books not just for their content um, but also for a book as an object, its object qualities, its sculpture, sculptural qualities but also as, um, as a, for its symbolism, for you know, what a book can mean and for how it can be interpreted as, some, as something of great value or how knowledge can also be interpreted as something that is completely devoid of value. I think the issues that are raised in, in various ways between Tony and Joaquin's um, practice show the um, ongoing interest of artists, you know, regardless of the context in which they live, to, to engage with local systems of control and authority and, and to bring um, the, the sort of the structural hierarchy of, of their respective um, nations or societies or cultures to um, into question and, and to um, always pose challenging questions of a society in the direction it's heading in. I'm pretty satisfied, I feel pretty accomplished by how it all came together. Uh, it's uh, one of those very rare opportunities in which, you, in which things actually go like so smooth uh, and there's such a shared understanding on what we want to say, how we want to say it. It was a pretty organic uh, process all along the way. So, yeah, I think uh, being satisfied, just like, uh, it's just uh, not enough to say how, uh, how I feel about this show.